In this video, we will show you how to set up vControl Pro with a ProControl or Control24 unit. First, launch the vControl Pro installer and complete the installation. Next, launch vControl Pro and it will appear as a menu bar item. It is important to launch vControl Pro before launching Pro Tools. vControl Pro is set up to launch automatically on computer startup after installation. Click on the vControl Pro icon in the menu bar and select Preferences. In this menu, the dot track count refers to how many faders vControl Pro controls at one time. You can control an infinite number of tracks in the DAW using the bank buttons on the control surface. Click OK when done. Next, click on the vControl Pro icon in the menu bar and select Setups. Once the main setups window opens, click on Add New in the controller section. Select Add Ethernet Device. The Ethernet device browser opens and scans for any available Pro Control or Control24 units currently on the same network. Once the unit appears, select it and click Add. Multiple units can be selected at once if available. Now, launch Pro Tools. vControl Pro will automatically pair the Pro Control or Control24 units. Clicking on the unit paired with Pro Tools, we can select which bank it's controlling. By default, it's set to bank 1 through 8. By clicking on the bank drop-down menu, we can change it to any of the four banks available. The first bank is tracks 1 through 8, the second is 9 through 16, the third is 17 through 24, and the fourth is 25 through 32. Close the vControl Pro Setups window and launch our Pro Tools session. Click on Setup in the menu bar and navigate to MIDI and select MIDI Input Devices. Make sure that all vControl MIDI inputs are enabled. If they are not, click to enable them, then select OK. Next, click on Setup and select Peripherals. Click on the MIDI Controllers tab. For the first row, select the type as Huey, and for Receive From and Send To, select vControl. Then click OK. If you're using a Pro Control unit with an additional fader pack for 16 tracks total, use the setup shown here. If you are using a Control24 Surface unit or Pro Control with two fader packs, use the setup shown here. If you have a total of 32 faders to control, use the setup shown here, then click OK. Pro Tools is now set up to run with vControl Pro using Pro Control or Control24.